Good morning, people watching the 65 Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man should boast. Grace is something we didn't earn, and grace is something we don't deserve. Again, I got a comment saying, where is it in scripture that um, he died for all, for past, present, and future sins? That means all of your sins. Past, present, and future. All of your sins. Is grace that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, key word, Believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. Once you come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior and put your faith and trust in Christ, the Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. I got the same question asking me, where in Scripture does it say that you will not lose your salvation? Or where in Scripture does it say... That you are sealed. Ephesians 4.30. The Holy Spirit seals you the moment you accept Christ as Savior until the day of redemption. That means you will not lose your salvation. You are sealed tighter than a Ziploc bag. Better than a Ziploc bag. Because you are sealed. That alone should be a mic drop moment for a lot of people. But like I told her, unfortunately a lot of people don't get it. So they criticize people who believe in once saved, always saved, saying that, you know, you can lose your salvation or that, you know, you can lose your salvation. You can't. Once you accept Christ as Savior, you're sealed until the day of redemption. It's right there in black and white, Ephesians 4.30. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. And most of all, like I said, Ephesians 4.30, the Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. Which means you will not lose your salvation. Um, I'm doing this real quick because, like I said yesterday, we're going to the range. The shooting range. So, this just came. When did this come? Oh, this came last night. Um, the U.S. is warning, warns of China aggression after move, after more live fire exercises in the South China Sea. So not only is the U.S. warning Russia, who is in bed with China, the U.S. is warning China also, who's about to invade also Taiwan. It's just a never-ending thing. They, um, the Chinese military has been holding more live-fire drills in the contested South China Sea this week, state media reported, while accusing the United States of saber-rattling and making provocations. The military exercises come as Washington has amplified its concerns about China's aggressive actions. This week, the top U.S. diplomat vowed to ensure freedom of navigation in the disputed waterway. The People's Liberation Army daily quoted the uh, Hannon Maritime Safety Administration as issuing navigation restrictions, restriction notices for three different locations around uh Hanan, China's largest island, which lies off the south coast of the mainland because of the live fire drills. No further details were given, but usually live fire exercises are aimed at testing the troops' combat preparedness, especially in the amphibious landing scenarios. And at least two of the drills concluded Friday, one near uh, Hainan and the other uh, near the Gulf between China and Vietnam. 
The People's Liberation Army also carried a video which it said showed a naval frigate uh, flotilla attached to the PLA. Southern Theater Command on a recent seven-day intensive live fire exercise in the South China Sea. So now it makes sense that China would act up now. Russia is already doing it, so China's about to do something now. Drills carried uh, drills included carrier base aircraft landing, handling of float, uh, floating mines, and artillery uh, artillery firing. The report said without giving a precise location. There has been a steady flow of reporting. In Chinese state media on military drills in the South China Sea, a potential flashpoint for conflict in the Indo-Pacific. China's sweeping claims overlap with those of Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. So on Tuesday during the visit to Indonesia, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said there is concern among countries in that region. Now, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if both of these wars started at the same time. I'm talking China with Taiwan and uh, Russia with uh, Ukraine because they're both, like I said, they're both in bed together. So it wouldn't surprise me one bit if they both, if they both started an invasion at the same time. It was Blinken's first visit to the Southeast Asia uh, to Southeast Asia since he took office at the top of his U.S. diplomat in January. There's also expectation that Sleepy Joe will invite Southeast Asian leaders to Washington for a summit early next year. Uh, responding to Blinken's uh, speech, Chinese Foreign Minister spokesman accused the U.S. of saber-rattling and making provocations by sending advanced military aircraft and vessels to the South China Sea. On Tuesday, the South China Sea Strategic Situation Probing Initiative and a Beijing-based think tank alleged that the U.S. Air Force sent an RC-135W spy plane on a close-in reconnaissance mission, mission along China's coast near the locations of the uh, People's Liberation Army drills. It claimed there had been 94 reconnaissance flights since November. So the U.S. is uh, the U.S. is trying to uh, show his muscle, which is not much given this current administration. Like I said, it wouldn't surprise me if China and Russia both invaded um, Taiwan and Ukraine at the same time. And it wouldn't surprise me if Iran and Israel started at the same time. That's how it's going to be. It's going to all happen at one time, and it's coming there right now. Um, I'm going to come back later. Um, I'm curious to see what this speech is about with uh with Biden and I will come back and uh, report on it later on today um we will see what happens here i mean we're just we're we're watching everything explode like i said the rubber band is pulled and it's about to snap and this administration is not helping so we will see what happens. Um, I will probably end up doing a rumble video later. Um, and I, it'll probably be about this speech that he's going to give. Because I have, I have a feeling what it's going to be. 
and it's not going to be good. But I will be back later with the next video. Thank you.